Hi. Well, yet again it's to be uh, another lamp. Only this time it's going to be made from a flute. It's a little bit different this time because uh, the flute's made of metal. So it'll require a, a different sort of method of mounting. The flute comes in three pieces. Um, the bottom section and the mouthpiece. Um, it's not a good flute. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Um, it really needs uh, a new mouthpiece. This one's got uh, a damaged lip plate here. There's also a, a dent in the back there and another one around the corner there. So, first job really um, is to join up the three, the three pieces. And because they're a sliding fit, airtight, obviously, to play the instrument, um, it needed a, a very thin, watery type of adhesive. Um, for that, um, I use Loctite. Um, Loctite number 603 is the one I use. It's, it's very watery, but it penetrates. And once it's in, it's in. It's not going to shift. Whatever you do, you're not going to turn it. It requires quite a bit of heat to actually break the seal. Um, so the bottom end uh, will go into the same block of wood which I've ordered. Uh, hasn't arrived yet. Um, and the other end, of course, where the bulb goes. I've removed the tuning plug from the end. Um, this is actually slightly tapered there and you put the cork in from that end and this little threaded piece here you screw it in and it gradually pulls the cork further and further into the cone um, until it's in tune. Uh, and there's a, a little marker which lines up with the center to tell you when you're in tune, supposedly. Anyway, this one's pretty well dried out and it sort of fell out when I took the, the top off. Uh, what off happen, often happens uh, during the lifetime of these things, uh, this tends to work loose on the end. So people just do this and sort of tighten it up without realizing that every time they do it they're probably pulling it a little bit further and further away uh, making the instrument go flat however that's going to be the first job um, to make a piece to go in there which will have the same thread on as the last one uh, to screw in the bulb holder this is the adapter to screw into the bulb holder. This time uh, I've got a silver one to match the, the colour of the flute but the hole in there is smaller but it still used the old 26 TPI. Good job I still had uh, the dies for the job. Now as that's uh, the inside here is a taper I've made this uh, a loose fit but you can just see the ridge on the end there. That's a tight fit just to push in at the end. It's a press fit. It may be a bit longer than necessary, but I shall still be using an adhesive to hold it in place. Uh, but this time I shall be using um, this Loctite 638. That's um, designed to fill empty spaces around uh, joints and so on. Um, but I'm not going to do it now. <clears throat> I'm going to do it after um, everything's completed and I'm wiring up. Because getting the cable up through and then up through that hole at the end uh, might be a bit easier if it's not in place. And then I can uh, glue it in afterwards. The piece of wood finally arrived. Um, it's a piece of English yew. Um, very nicely marked. Um, unfortunately, 
he's got two centre marks there and I've just checked uh, and it's uh, they're both not quite accurate um, it's been nicely finished round the edge so it is a, a decent circle um, up till now other pieces of wood I've had have been roughly sawn and it didn't matter but I don't want to waste any of the wood so I'm going to drill it through from the other side and I used my engineer's centre finder it's a, an old antique one actually it just fits on like so and you just draw a line along there and then another one and where they intersect uh, is the centre of your circle. So I shall drill from this side uh, for the support to hold it in the lathe uh, to turn. There comes the question of how to attach the block of wood to the flute. I could use wood uh, to go up but I was always afraid that that might get snapped off if somebody leant against it or anything. Also you've got the problem of sticking the wood with some sort of adhesive to the metal. So I've come up with a different idea. I've made a, the spigot out of brass and uh, that will obviously stick in quite simply um, with a Loctite and this time the 638 will, will do a good job there because I made that loose. And I've used the coarsest thread I've got, which is uh, a pitch of two, two millimetres between peaks. Um, and I've tapped a thread in the block of wood. The wood's got a fairly close grain and it seems to have uh, cut a reasonable depth. I did have a bigger size, but the pitch was one and a half. Um, so it was a toss-up really, but I've gone for the, the deeper tread and that will just screw in like so and then I can hold that in the lathe to turn the each side in turn, the back and the front and then when it's I'm on the last bit it can be left in there and then glued in place into the flute. So it's just now a question of mounting it all up, sticking it in the lathe and turning up the plinth. That's the final cut to, for the edge. Lovely and hard. It's already got a shine on it without any sanding. A little bit rough just there, but uh, that will come up beautifully. Lovely piece of wood. Quite a nice finish. Um, the lacquer's brought the grain out quite nicely. At the moment I'm trying to wire in the cable um, problem is that being a metal flute um, it's got to have an earth and that means a three core cable uh, which is considerably thicker and uh, as you can see from the underside they've got a quite a tight bend to get round bit of a nuisance I don't like want to use such heavy duty cable but it's the smallest I could get for for three core. Anyway that's the next stage. Well there's the finished lamp. If you like tall thin lamps it's uh, quite a simple one to make. The hardest bit was getting the wiring round the bend at the bottom. But uh, other than that 
quite a simple straightforward job. I think the little shade on the top is quite good. Uh, look, doesn't make it look top heavy or anything. Yeah, quite nice. And uh, I think the, the plinth at the bottom shows up the wood very nicely. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Anyway, thank you for watching.